I had this really cool background that I bought from the thrift store, this printed panel, and it looked like an Italian city. And I was going to do a large steer on it, like the running of the cows or something, running of the bulls. But I think uh, I wanted to do a different animal. I have a lot of cows right now in my booth, so I wanted to do a horse because I thought of the phrase Italian stallion. So, of course, I needed to paint an Italian stallion. I um, treated the background with a medium first so that it protects it and then makes it where I can paint on it. Then I drew the stallion and I painted the eyes and the inside of the ears and the nostrils and details with acrylics. Here I'm going with a paintbrush and doing, you know, the nose area and the eyelids with oils. And then I'm switching over to using my palette knife. <clears throat> Try to do my brush work first usually. So I'm applying highlights first. And I had to just do a section at a time because he was so complicated. Then I'm doing a dark, dark blue for my shadows, my deep shadows. The horse shading is very important so he doesn't just become a big blob. You want to keep some of that beauty in there. And then I came through with a cerulean blue for a medium shadow. I don't always do a medium shadow, but this thing was large, so I had room for it. And finally, I came through with turquoise for just my regular color. So you want a highlight, a shading, and then the overall color are the normal steps for doing some of that 3D modeling there. So once I put the paint on the area, and I apply it a lot like, I tell people it's like painting with peanut butter, it's like you're making a peanut butter jelly sandwich. So I apply the paint and then I go through and texture it with my palette knife. And that helps blend the different areas with each other because you don't want to keep it <clears throat> really distinct. You want it to blend in with each other. And you want that nice fur look, fur texture. And I bring my brush and detail it up next to the ears. Okay, head section's done. Now I'm moving on to the chest section. Doing the highlights, and I'm using a small palette knife there. I really went through some paint in this painting. Um, the turquoise that I was using was given to me, I don't remember, by somebody who had had it a while. It was Bob Ross brand, so I don't even know if there's a Bob Ross brand being made anymore. I don't know how long it's been since that paint was made, and um, <clears throat> it was a much more dried out and it was the only turquoise I had. It was almost a full tube. So switching from my newer oil paints to the turquoise paint was quite difficult. It was gummy and dried and difficult to use, but once I started using it I couldn't switch without having to go to the store and get more and it's really impossible for me to step away from a painting once I'm on it. I just really hate to leave it if I can keep painting. So I put in my highlights and my shadows and then here I'm using the cerulean blue as my medium shadow. And you'll notice that my hands are in plastic gloves. I use really thin plastic gloves like um, disposable plastic gloves. I use them for several paintings unless they get really messy. This painting was so messy, probably because of that dried out turquoise. I, I'm putting the turquoise on here. It's really gummy and difficult to manipulate, but it's pretty, isn't it? I think it was worth the trouble, and I used up that whole tube. Dagnabbit, I didn't waste a bit. I think I ended up cutting open the tube and scraping it out to be able to finish it up. <laughs> which pleases my recycler's heart. All right, so I'm putting in the medium color, which is the turquoise, and then it's time to blend it and put in texture with my palette knife. This is a more serious horse for me, even though he's all in blues, he's not doing anything crazy or wacky with his face like a lot of my animals are, so it'll be interesting to see who he ends up with. A lot of times my masculine pieces 
sell quickly because I don't do a lot of masculine pieces. I think he's still masculine even though he has blush. All right, so I'm putting in texture. That paper that I just showed you is what I use instead of paper towels. I just use old papers, you know, subject matter, whatever I printed out for other paintings. And wipe my brush on that. I'm, I just like to not, not waste. And then the papers that I'm looking at, you see to the left of the horse's nose, is my subject matter. I save those and um, give them to the art shop around the corner for the kids to use as subject matter. And I just really like 